Yeah, hi there. These comments are for AA. This is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. And you're one of my online students. Also, you're attending uh, California State University, San Bernardino, and uh, you are a TOEFL student, also in my TOEFL class at the campus. All right, let's get started with your essay. So, Let's take a look at it in terms of organization, development, and grammar, word choice, sentence structure, and so on. Paragraph one, you don't really have a thesis. You say there are several important qualities of good roommates, but you don't say what they are. So you could revise that thesis and say, communication and the ability to listen and understand are important qualities of a good roommate. I would put that in the introduction. That way you can better connect body paragraphs two and three back to the thesis. Okay, paragraph two, uh, you have the ability of communication. Okay, so you have that. Now, the only problem here is you're talking about communication is an important quality, and then when you give your example, you talk about different genders, nationalities, language, and Arabic by going to study in a bachelor's degree not enough to communicate, needs to find someone to deal with that situation. But it doesn't really connect to roommates. The example needs to be something like this. You say, for example, when someone, maybe, who, who speaks Arabic, who is learning English, you know, who is living with an American in the United States, uh, he will need to be able to communicate in English with his roommate to prevent any kinds of problems from happening, right? So the example you're giving <coughs> needs to connect back to some situation where you think communication is important with a roommate, maybe in a dorm or in an apartment type situation. Now, if you use the word first of all, it's probably better in the third paragraph to say second of all, and then finally. Or don't use first of all at all and just start off with the ability and then say it in addition. Okay, your third paragraph should say the most important qualities of good roommates is the ability to listen and understand because there is indisputable problems and difficulties. So the good roommate have to listen and understand these problems. But you're not giving me any specific detail here. I want to sit down and eat dinner you're giving me a salad. So what could you do here? You might say something like, after you say there are in, is indisputable problems and difficulties, good roommates have to listen and understand. Then you say, for example, maybe if a roommate uh, comes home after failing a biology quiz, he may want to talk to his roommate about that problem. So the roommate, it will be important for the roommate to be able to listen and to understand the problem that the, his roommate's having with the biology test. Maybe he can help his roommate do better on the next test. So you need, you need a more specific example in paragraph three. I think that would strengthen the argument that you're trying to make. And in your final paragraph, you say to consider that person a good roommate or not, you have to apply these important qualities to avoid the consequences from bad roommates because they can easily affect our life. Okay, that's okay. So that kind of ties together the ideas. Now let's talk about grammar. I'm going to go through each paragraph and point out maybe one problem that you might have that might be affecting uh, your uh, gr grammar. Okay, you actually are you're demonstrating fairly good control of your sentence structure, which is good for you. Okay, the very last line of the first paragraph, you say, there are, you have A, several important qualities of a good roommate. You don't need A, just say, there are several important qualities of good roommates. Okay, let's go to paragraph two. This is a subject-verb agreement issue, and I'm going to read the sentence, and I'll make corrections as I go. You say, first of all, the ability of communication is one of... I'm going to say the, not these, is one of the most, one of 
the most important qualities of good roommates and it is not easy to communicate with anybody because it takes s it takes a long time especially if that happens put s on the verb happens between two different genders plural genders nationalities plural again or languages so in this case you're having problems with two things problems with your verb you need to make the verb singular by adding s and you want to make your nouns plural by adding s okay your third paragraph let's take a look at maybe a possible problem here this is called subject verb agreement issue okay you say in addition the most important qualities I would say singular because you're talking about one you might say in addition how about another important quality I think that would be better because you already said these important qualities right so say in addition another important quality of good roommates is the ability to listen and understand because they're you say is I'm gonna say there are indisputable don't use the preposition just say there are indisputable problems and difficulties in our life so and don't need the just say so good roommates have to listen and understand these problems and difficulties to provide their assistance and advice a d v i c e to the one who is with them your final paragraph you have final to consider that person is a good roommate or not I don't think that the you is going to work better you might say to consider how about no I don't think that's gonna work to consider whether or not a person is a good roommate these important qualities have to be applied to avoid the consequences from bad roommates because they can easily affect our life so you might want to play back the video one more time I just made corrections to your final paragraph okay now how would you score here now one other bit of advice instead of just talking about two reasons I would advise you to include a third reason so that way you can make your writing a little bit more developed than what it is okay so if we take a look at what you have going on here uh, I'm gonna put you probably I'm gonna say I'm gonna give you 3.0 out of 5 20 points out of 30 so in this case you have um, I think you can develop your ideas a little bit more than you are I think that's important uh, you are having some problems with your grammar I noticed sometimes you're having problems with your verb or with your nouns uh, sometimes you're having problems with what's called subject verb agreement so that might bring it down a little bit but still you actually have pretty strong writing here so I'm gonna give you 3.0 out of 5 or 20 points out of 30 on this particular uh, task now what I'd recommend here is in terms of my course uh, I think you can benefit by studying in my grammar lessons, focusing in, in grammar lesson number one, two, three, four, and also gra <coughs> grammar lesson number seven. I think that would be beneficial for you, grammar lesson seven. You can study that and, and, and use that over you know the next few weeks. I think that would be helpful for you. Now, in terms of writing... Uh, I would suggest one you're having a little bit of problems with your thesis so take a look at lesson four creating sharply focused thesis statements this is writing lesson number four I think that would be good for you also lesson 5.3 writing details to support generalizations and maybe lesson six writing the conclusion so that would probably be uh, some things that can help get your writing going a little bit better than what it is but anyway good to hear from you thank you for doing the writing test and uh, i look forward to reading your next one